Happy birthday to my fellow fire babies, my cardinal Aries. Yes, gods and goddesses, I am Steve the Spiritual Goddess here for your birthday message. Leave me some Aries emojis if you are an Aries checking out this video. In today's video, we will be seeing what messages Spirit has for you for your special day. Yes, gods and goddesses. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing this month for your birthday. I'm, I want to, I'm, I want to know. I know Aries be always turning up. Shout out to my BFF Sean. Shout out to my baby Mo, Evolving Butterfly. You guys know I rock with her. I have a lot of Aries friends. Shout out to my homie Kyle. Um, yeah, I got like maybe because I'm an Aries North. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I rock with the Aries. You guys are ruled by Mars. So in this video, we're going to see what messages your spirit has for you. So let's go ahead and get the message they want to give to you on your special day. What message do they want to give to you? Let's see. All right, Aries. Oh, the crumbling. What are you clinging on to? Your spirit guys are telling you today. Ask yourself, what are you clinging on to? If you look at this, this kind of kind of reminds me of my tower card. But when I'm when you look at this, it's kind of like there's beauty behind the doors. You know what I'm saying? But you have to, but you have to get behind the doors. You have to go through the doors first. And your spirit guides are saying there could be something that's blocking you that you have to uh, let go of. What are you holding on to? Let's see. Let's get, what is the energy that you are coming into the year with? Let's get the energy from last year for you. Let's see. Let's see. What is the energy? Okay. Some of you last year, I'm getting energy like your sacral chakra was blocked or you may have found times you hear you hit some blockages. Maybe you even found times where you could have been like having a brain fart or a fog or you might have a time where you had like if you're like creative, you might have a create creative block at times. Yeah. You may have even felt stifened, but let's see. What is this new year that, what are you going into this new year? Let's see. You may have felt like you couldn't create the way you wanted to last year is what I'm getting in a sense. But this year, you're going to be making choices. Definitely getting that. Your spirit guides are saying this year, this is going to be a year of indecision for you. And I know that can seem like what? But your spirit guides are saying this is a beautiful thing. The reason why is because you, the world is yours if you look at it. You know what I'm saying? You can look at the glass half full or you can look at it as half empty. Your spirit guides are saying right now you need to get grounded and get settled and decide what you want. This is going to be a new year for you coming into the new year about making decisions. And you, you don't, I'm getting for a sense for you, a part of you could always need validation. Maybe you're the type of person who you got to tell your friends all your plans. Maybe you got to tell people like you got to get some type of approval and your spirit guides are saying you, you don't need, you don't need that this year. This year you need to stand on business child. I'm definitely getting a sense of that. Um, so I definitely would suggest for a lot of you doing some grounding exercises. Also, I would suggest um, for some of you, you may want to set up an ancestor altar. I don't know why I'm getting that or some way to honor your ancestors. This can help a lot of you build stronger into in, intuition. But yeah, let's get into the advice. Advice on how you can get the most out of this new chapter. Advice on how you can get the most out of this new chapter, Aries. Advice. We got the death card in reverse. The lover's card. 
How can they get the most? And then the high priest is in reverse. You have to be able to move forward is what your spirit guides are saying. Like you have to be able to move forward. And I'm getting for some of you, your problem is Aries. Sometimes Aries, if you don't watch it, you have a problem seeing the other perspective. You only see things from first perspective sometimes. Sometimes you can have a tendency to do that. And your spirit guides are saying you really need to get outside of yourself and view things from a different perspective. I'm getting a sense a lot of you, your intuition is off because you, because I'm getting a sense you may have an idea of how you want certain things to be, but your spirit guides are saying you're not paying attention to all the things I'm trying to show you. That's what I'm getting. Ancestor also for a lot of you. You're not, you're not fully aware is what I'm getting. And you have to know that whether you accept this or not, you don't, you're not working alone. This is not just a, a you thing. This is not just an ego thing. This is you and your ancestors. You and your ancestors. That's all this is. And your spirit guides want you to know that you like, you have to check in basically a lot of you the reason why you're you keep running going into the same cycles of last year and different things like that or you may have felt blocked it's because your spirit guys are saying you keep ignoring the finer details and there's some and what i'm getting for a lot of you is even if you have you feel like you have a relationship with your ancestors your spirit guys are saying you can build a closer bond and that's definitely what I'm getting for you all. So, um, yeah, that's what I have for you all. Um, let me know what you guys think of this reading. I'm so curious to hear from you all. Don't forget to check the special message I have for you guys pinned in the comments. And, yeah, until then, all my Aries gods and goddesses, see you in the next video. Happy birthday. Peace.